So uh, let's talk for a minute here in front of this UNIVAC machine about algorithms and programming, big idea four and five. Um, algorithms are just basically a set of instructions that something follows to solve a problem. Uh, that could be as simple as the instructions for making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or it could be the instructions for uh, programming a machine like this. Um, and so, uh, when we do programming, we're actually following a set of instructions. We're asking the computer to follow a set of instructions. And those instructions are really made up of algorithms. This set of step-by-step -step instructions telling the computer what to do. Now, when it gets to the idea, big idea of programming, which is big idea five, um, the one thing I want you to remember about that is that it's a very creative process. When you sit down today in front of a screen and you're getting ready to program, um, you will uh, have a blank screen and you have to come up with what it is that you want that computer to do and the result of what it is that you program in will become software application of some kind and you have created it completely uh, on your own. It's a way of again reflecting that creativity of being made in the image of God. So when you're programming, you are being creative, you are reflecting the image of God, and I think that's a really, really um, uh, impactful statement for those who like to program. And really any time that you're being creative, you're reflecting the image of God. But for a programmer, sometimes it seems like uh, programming is distant somehow from uh, your, your faith, but, the, but it isn't at all. It's reflecting the image of God. And then uh, the other thing I want to say is that resulting software application is considered a computational artifact, something that's made with the use of a computer. Um, and programming can be used for three basic different things. One is to do problem solving. That's what this machine was made for, to solve mathematical problems. Um, it's used to um, help express our human expression, if you will, um, so that um, let's say you wanted to digitally enhance a photo or do some looping in music or things like that, that would be expressing, uh, making a, a way of doing human expression. And then finally, it also provides a way of creating knowledge. Um, in other words, I'm going to use this machine to maybe solve a problem, right? It's going to give me some uh, valuable information that maybe I couldn't see patterns in before, and then now I can take those patterns and that information and, and uh, generate some new knowledge that maybe I didn't have before so that I can make decisions based on it. Um, those are the big ideas, both of big idea for algorithms, which is following a set of instructions, um, and then the big idea five programming, which is uh, you're able to be creative, the result is a computational artifact, and it's used for problem solving uh, in human expression or creation of knowledge. Um, so those are quick introduction to those two big ideas. Next, we're going to talk about the big idea six of the internet. Um, you may not be aware, but the internet was originally created for collaboration, and ongoing it facilitates collaboration. Um, this is originally between scientists and uh, maybe uh, people in the military, um, but now it's really for everybody around the world. Um, uh, the access to the internet is uh, ubiquitous these days, and um, more and more people are getting connected. Um, we're also going to talk about the history of the internet a little bit and a little bit about networking to let you know about how we came from not being able to even communicate between computers and then to be able to communicate between computers around the whole world. Um, we're going to talk about the difference between the web and the internet because there actually is the difference and if you actually refer to one or the other, you're referring to very specific things and they're not the same. And then finally, we are going to learn a little bit about HTML and do a project on HTML um, where you'll be able to create your own web page, your own computational artifact that's a web page, and you'll be doing it straight through HTML. So those are some of the things that we're going to learn about when we talk about Big Idea 6, the Internet. Finally, we'll look at Big Idea 7, Global Impact. We're going to take a look at how computing has impacted the entire world, the entire market. 
Um, some of these impacts have been beneficial, some have been harmful. Um, in addition to that, we're going to kind of just talk a little bit about how um, computing in general has affected almost every area of study or every career that you can think of. And uh, whether that be um, biology, whether it's marketing, uh, whether it's uh, even art, the, everyone is using computing in some way, whether as a tool or to create things, um, as part of uh, a way of life today. Um, we're going to talk about security and cybersecurity is the hot topic these days. We'll talk a little bit about how to protect ourselves uh, while on the uh, internet and doing computing things. We're going to talk about privacy. How do you make sure that your data is not going somewhere that you don't want it to? We're going to talk about an intellectual property and copyright so that you can protect the things that you've created from uh, just being used by anybody. And we're going to talk about crowdsourcing and how that's benefited things like politics and uh, and and fundraising. We're going to talk about technology, addiction, and life balance, and what we can do to kind of set boundaries and help ourselves. And finally, we're going to end with missions computing, so that um, that will be our last kind of global impact topic and how computers and missions can go together to uh, promote the gospel to the world. Um, so this really just ends our quick introduction to the big ideas of computer science, and we'll be talking about all of these things in a great more detail uh, throughout this semester.